Hey guys, it's Hank Kim and I am I'm, I'm in my basement. <laughs> I want to talk to you guys about. Uh, some some shopping uh, incidents I uh, so what it's like uh shopping in a uh, GTA again so I'm going to start off with a uh, whippy Ontario so it's just next to Oshawa and on the other side of it on the west side is uh, Ajax. So, nice. Nice place to shop, you know. Lots of major stops. Stop and, uh. So the only old minor problem that I had was uh, the cashier lady was being very, very, being very rude to me. I don't know if if because I was a uh, younger or like not that I was, like not that I was if I was an adult or if I was Asian. So yeah, so I but how I, how I worked worked there was uh. The so floor markers are still there. They let any, they basically let anyone uh, in. Usually, if uh, if it's like a, uh, if there's like a lot of people or there's like stuff to deal with, uh, they uh, they usually uh, wait and make people wait on the line, but. They made on uh, me. They made uh, people uh, wait in the uh, line to want to get in. One person goes out and then one person comes in. And I don't, I don't like that technique. Because uh, last time I went there, uh, they didn't do that. And yeah, I don't know why they want to do it. And I'm gonna turn my way way to uh, way back to Toronto. So th that was my second time out in uh, Toronto. So one place I went to was uh. Other than uh, the same place I went last time to, you know, Galeria Supermarket, the Korean supermarket. Yeah, I went to uh, some uh, place run by some uh, that uh, doesn't let any uh, anyone else uh, in unless if you are a retailer and or yeah, you know, you have to own a store, restaurant, or like a business. So well, I went in and there is the place was very dusty, but the people there were like very friendly. So, and even in the in the pre their previous location, they were they were uh, very uh, friend they were friendly to me and uh, and uh, uh, and uh, the customers and yeah. This. Mm. What you didn't like about like a like is that they did not have a hand sanitizer uh, available or like or had the uh, requirements of the uh, wearing masks or you know so in a dust dusty warehouse yeah people could get sick that fast but stuff were. Uh,
you know, only like half of the staff are like wearing masks and yeah. And then, uh, yeah. And also, also, like, thinking of, uh, back to, like, uh, that place in, uh, Whippy, uh. That place didn't really have floor markers, but that only, uh, like, the in and, uh, entry and, uh, exit. Yeah. That only had, uh, floor markers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But what I didn't like is that, like, uh, at the Korean supermarket that I, uh, go, go to a lot, all the time, and, uh, they require you to wear a mask and, and hand, and they suggest you wash your hands and sanitize your hands, but they don't have it available because lots of people come in and out, whether they be white. Chinese, Korean, Arabic, Indian, or, you know, a lot of people have been, uh, diverse people have been, uh, come in uh, to that place because, uh, you know, they, uh, like the Korean culture and you want to try some, try some uh, foods or they're, it's a, that's the closest supermarket, uh, in their neighborhood. So it's strange how like somehow some places like actually like you know actually give you like a have you like you know have a do a hand sanitizing uh at the entrance or they require you to do a mask but the places and the place that uh some places I I'm, I'm surprised that they they have don't even have both so yeah. And only like some staff would like have like a face mask on or but they would also have like a face mask on but they would have also have that like a uh, plastic uh, covering you know usually people who work in the bakery section or like you know the food section usually have uh, those on but in the Korean supermarket I went to yeah all cashiers had those on <laughs> And also in the food section, I think, uh, I wasn't looking properly, but yeah, I think they were. So I think it's like, uh, I think it is like, it is a must that people should hand sanitize and, you know, wear a mask when uh, upon entry. But if someone, someone doesn't do either, you know. No. Yeah, virus like just really one. They say like an op a business has their doors open just because it's like too cool out, or you know, or you know, some business businesses have uh doors open, you know, on purpose. Or like you know, they they turn off their uh automatic doors and you know, just people can just go in and then out and uh, there would would it be no door door automatic doors closing in on them and then out. So what what happened then like uh, Toronto, Trinity Valley Valley Park and uh, downtown Toronto and Queens Park. Yeah, that, that 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 is like one of the places that uh, caused the Toronto to be like one of the hot spot for coronavirus victims, and it's getting worse. And people, I think that people, especially if you're like you know, shopping in like the larger cities, or if you live in one, you know, I think it it is necessary for you to wear a face mask, or say wash and 
slash sanitize your hands. And also social distancing. But the only same thing I ever see, I saw in those businesses that I went to, they had floor markers every two meters. So like at cash register place spots. And yeah, I think uh, hospitals also have one too, if uh, yeah. I went to one uh, today, so yeah, I know. So, you no, know, I think it is important. I think it is, it, it should be like a, like mandatory instead of like, you know, just a recommendation. Just uh, so uh, even staff and uh, managers and even customers can you know feel you know feel safe about like sh when shopping or vis going to a place and you know they won't they won't have to worry about anything and yeah and second now I've uh, had some fights with some people who are like that uh, been uh like uh, or about like uh so this this is just like something that for the, the government can uh, scare us in, into like you know we're buying masks and uh you know buying hand sanitizer and, and such yeah those people really need to take a lesson on like you know on the dangers of like a virus and uh go back to bi biology class or if they haven't they should yeah. No matter if even if they went to uni in that in that kind of class in a university or college. So with the coronavirus, you know, it can only uh, go up to like uh, six feet or two f or two meters or one point eight two meters. Uh, to be specific, and yeah. And especially when what what ha what uh, has happened in like uh, places like South Korea or like Italy or all over the places in the world there where like people have been uh, already gone through coronavirus and yeah the places places that actually have uh, where people have citizens have worn masks yeah those are the places that actually survive and uh, yeah. But because of people just went to another place and then he came back with the virus and yeah, that caused like a whole lot of trouble in uh places like South Korea, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Thailand, and Singapore. So. So at least those countries know what they're doing when they are wearing masks and, you know, are mass producers of it. So listen to what doctors say. Don't listen to anyone, anything what people say on uh, Instagram or, or Facebook. Because those are like lies, and uh, those people like really don't know anything, and are uh, just probably like, doing believe something on uh, uh, on a web WebMD or like something on uh, some other web di websites that are like uh, you know not scientifically approved by doctors, healthcare professionals, or you know governments that actually know like you know, know stuff about health and stuff, and yeah. And this goes to that last person who like uh, th thought like the government was just doing to scare people. Thumbs down. Because, <laughs> you know, it is actually proven. Wear a mask. You know, even if you do have the virus, you know, 
and uh, you can uh, get a check for it and you know stay at home wear a mask you know or or wear a mask or you know and if you're wearing mask you know, the bacteria you know won't uh, travel to other people people and other people won't breathe it in if they have a mask on or you know not near you within a within like a two meter radius so do trust uh, like websites that actually are like proven by like you know healthcare professionals and doctors there's too many liars uh to like uh this one out already and yeah that's it for this video yeah stay safe guys